Hello, my friends. Test not here. I'm in the studio uh, during McIntyre month, and I've been looking at a few articles and books that I have around and trying to find a few things on the internet as well. Um, the Minor Steps of Clanhattan, it's a book I've been referring to quite a bit this year, right? Um, by Charles Fraser McIntosh. I believe this was written in 1898. At any rate, um, He's got a chapter here, the McIntyres of Badenoch. Those are the McIntyres that are part of the Clanhattan. Not all are, as we've seen with a few others, right? McLean, uh, for one, uh, only some McLeans, very few compared to the balance of all, are part of Clanhattan. It's the same with Clan McIntyre. Uh, let me just read this little passage here, part of this. It's, it's actually a good, good length here, but I'll just read a little bit of it. Um, the McIntyres of Badenoch. Clan Antair, Clan Antair. Sir Aeneas McIntosh places Clan Antair, otherwise McIntyres of Badenoch, number 16 of the Associated Tribes, and says they took protection of William, afterwards the 13th McIntosh, about the year 1496. The Kinrara historian, this is Aeneas McIntosh, says under the heading of the above William. It was this William in an expedition to Rannoch and Appin who took the bard McIntyre, of whom the McIntyres of Badenoch are descended, under his protection. It was he who composed the excellent Erse epitaph in joint commendation of Farquhar Vic Conchi and William Vic Lachlan Badenoch, 12th and 13 lairds of Macintosh. Uh, this is referring to some poems uh, and or songs, Macintosh's Lament in another, uh, which I'm not going to find here, I'm sorry, but there's two uh, poems. They've been, ref uh, they've been attributed to this man, but there's some, uh, there's some contention about this fact. At any rate, um, he says he is, being, he is inclined to attribute the lament as composed in memory of William Macintosh. So he's saying it's a little bit further down the line that it was that it was composed, I think he's saying, um, not by someone who knew him in life. At any rate, the name McIntyre is understood to be derived from the occupation of the first who was a Turner or Wright in Gallic Sair. I'm not saying that right, but S-A-O-I-R. So a Turner, right? This is a person who is turning... Um, well, chair legs and tables and uh, furniture legs and things, right? A turner of uh, a lathe, it would be called a lathe perhaps, all right? Um, or perhaps a carpenter, a woodworker, a craftsman with wood. It is of the misfortunes attending anything old, either to be obscured or altered to suit the designs of the unprincipled persons. While it is almost pardonable in a MacDonald to dis designate this famous lament the lament of the grandson of our sake. Uh, he, he's saying that the McDonald's used the name our sake for that song uh, in rather than the Macintosh's lament to, to take uh, to take attribution away from the Macintosh name. It's true that we had that Macintosh had our sake at one time. It goes on to say uh, they were one time known as Mac Mick our sake. Um, one time designated it through marriage. The descendants of the Bard McIntyre settled in Badenoch and were, like the McVericks in the case of Clan Ronald, McCrimmons in the case of MacLeod, MacArthur's in the case of MacDonald's of Sleet, hereditary bards to the Macintoshes. Okay, so bard, if you don't know, that's a poet, perhaps a record keeper, a poet, a songwriter, um, a scribe, I want to say, too. Um, a man of letters and, and songs and history, that kind of thing. Um, all right. Uh, chiefs were busy. The, the chiefs were busy guys, right, folks? They needed someone to keep track of these things for them. They couldn't be bothered with a lot of history and things. So they needed to know it. They needed to know who they can go to find it, not have it in their own heads, of course, like many things a leader does, of course. Um, And they possess no land as owners. Their history is as 
distinct sept as is, is obscure. The history as a distinct step sept is obscure. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, they had no land of their own, they're saying. Um, at the present day, there are but few living in Badenoch, which would have been 1898. <laughs> um, this, the, the, let's see, uh, Mr. S.F. McIntosh of Farr, in his collections of 1832, refers to the McIntyres. Uh, this was a branch of the McIntyres of Gleno, who formerly possessed the sides of Loch Lagan in Badenoch. Many families of whom are still in that quarter. Gleno is the place where the original McIntyres were located and many of them stayed there. And this Bard's family of McIntyres apparently uh, came to the, Mackin uh, to the Macintosh chief. Uh, during a battle, he came into their camp as the story and uh, stayed with them from then on, brought his family, became part of Hattons. Those McIntyres became part of the, of the Hatton Confederation eventually. This was 1460, uh, I'm sorry, 1496, so it's a little bit before some of those signings of things, but uh, things were happening. There was a forming up, right? There was shoulder to shoulder people going on. These clans were together um, it, with pen and ink or not. I should say pen, pen ink, and paper or not. Um, they were they were together uh, in thought and deed. I like that. I, I rather like that. Okay. In the last century, one of the clan, Lieutenant General John McIntyre, born at Napak, or Napak, in the parish of Kinjusi, was a distinguished sol soldier in the service of the East India Company. The grandfather of one of the sept, who I had the pleasure of knowing in Parliament, the late E.J. McIntyre, was a native of the parish of Moy, and my late friend often told me he was much attached to the place where his predecessors lived, and that he was proud of being of Clan Hatton. That's nice to read. In Celtic poetry and literature, the names of Duncan Van McIntyre, the Reverend Dr. McIntyre, of Kilmanavag, whose father was sometime minister in Lagan, and the Reverend Donald McIntyre of Kincardin will readily occur amongst these conferring luster on that name. We confer luster on all 12 of the clans, don't we, folks? We're trying to. The name of Miss Margaret McIntyre, the famous prima donna of the North, deserves honorable recognition. The name is presently numer numerous and influential and all who are of the Badenoch McIntyres should fix upon a head and reuniting themselves, take up their proper position in the clan. So he's lamenting, um, I use the word lamenting, he's lamenting the fact that uh, there seems to be no McIntyre organization maybe, or um, he's saying, come on, you, you Badenoch McIntyres, get together again, get a feeling going that you're a clan, get your, get your act together perhaps. All right, so that's it for now for McIntyre in November, Clan McIntyre Month for November on Touch Not and the Clan Hatton Association channels. Uh, so please stay with us and uh, bear with us and etc. We're doing the best we can. We're getting near the end. Uh, one one clan left in December after after McIntyre. Can you guess which it is? Why don't you look back, folks? I'm not going to tell you right now. Look back through all my playlists and find out which clan has not been done yet. We're doing McIntyre now. We've done 10. This is number 11. Can you tell me in the comments who's going to be 12 in December? Please do. Thanks so much. Touch not, my friends.